Well, hi, I hope everyone is having a fabulous new year. Welcome back to Painting with Yovette. And uh, this is just gonna be a little bonus video today. So many of you are writing and telling me you're still having problems with evergreen trees. And so I've done a few tutorials before, but I'm gonna do yet another one. And um, hopefully this'll be the one that'll get you over that hump and, and make painting evergreen trees easy. Cause they're really not difficult. It just uh, really takes a lot of practice. So anyway, well, let's go to the drawing board. <laughs> Well, so I got a little bored during the holidays and I thought, gee whiz, I'm so tired of looking at my little workspace. So I just decided to do a little redecorating and this is what I came up with. And now I just am very happy, happy as can be that I have a little workspace now that I'm, uh, it's just kind of fun to look at every day. So my colors are real simple today. It's just cad yellow, sap green, burnt sienna, black and white and that's it the red and blue i just used for background color so anyway you won't be able to see my palette probably while i'm working but we're going to start out with this fan brush this is just a number three fan brush makes nice trees so we're going to start by just loading our fan brush into just a sap green a little black and a little brown and the only reason for those two colors is that I want to darken this green a lot and sort of take away some of the brightness. So I'm just, just loading both sides of the brush, like so. Lots of black, blue, excuse me, black, brown, and green. <laughs> oh dear, it's one of those days, isn't it? Okay, so. Now it's loaded. I want to be able to start right at the top of the tree and um, just tap lightly. All I'm look, looking for is a basic trunk where it's going to go. Load again. And I'm going to start by using just the tip of this brush. And I'm going to tap all I want to do is get the indication that there's some little things going on down here. And as I tap, I start pressing firmer. And notice that I'm filling in the center, not everywhere, but most places. And as I come out, I'm filling in more and more and more. Leave, be sure to leave little spaces in between like so and just come out, fill in, come out. And it's just as simple as that. I'm just reloading the brush because I want to keep this center dark. And notice my handle is actually facing, pretty much facing my chest. Of course, I guess that depends on whether you're sitting or standing. <laughs> okay, and um, there's the main part of the tree. Um, that looks fairly good. You might want to fill in just a little bit here. And because this is the shadow side, my sun is coming in from the left. So this is the shadow side of the tree. So I'll just pull down a little bit of that green. Okay. What I want to do next is take my palette knife. I want to go into a little bit of brown and a little bit of white. And I'm going to just pull down a nice variegated color like so. You just got a little roll on the knife. And I'm going to make my trunk and just hit a few places. A little bit wider at the bottom. Not quite coming out there, so let's just hit it again. There, that's better. Okay. 
wipe your knife off. Now I want to take this tree and the fan brush, wipe the green off as much as you can. Just give it a good squeeze. And then I want to go into um, some white and yellow. Anyway, laid, load both sides of the brush, make sure it's nice and even, and you have enough green on here already that you don't need to add more. So, both sides of the brush loaded. Okay, for highlighting, we're just going to hit, remember the sun is coming in from this way, so it would be the left side of the tree that's highlighted. So, touch in a few places. And notice when I'm doing this, I'm actually, let me get some more paint here. I'm actually touching the tops of the trees. I'm not going underneath here, I'm just touching on the tops of the trees. And I do want to go over the trunk once in a while. A little more paint. And as I come down, I'm pressing a little harder. I don't want too, too much highlight down at the bottom because most of your highlights would be at the top of the tree. Okay, so I kind of like that. I'm just going to get add a little more yellow and highlight this side of the grass. There we go. I like that. Okay, with your knife, just go ahead and you're just going to tap and just hit the top of the tree. Just make a little point there because most evergreen trees do have a nice little branch. Sometimes they have two or three. So um, wipe the knife off. And if you see something, now you notice that the left side, because I'm left-handed, the right side of the tree always turns out nicer. So if that's the case with you, you can just take that brush, your fan brush, load both sides with dark green, because I notice my, my points here kind of got lost. So I'm just going to add those back in to make nicer points. makes the tree more even that way. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is with a flat brush. Now, I don't know how many of you use a flat brush for painting, but I love a flat brush uh, for doing trees, for evergreen trees. So, um, we're going to do the same thing. Go into some sap green, a little bit of black, a little bit of brown, load that brush, wiggle it. Sometimes it really helps to get that paint all the way through the bristles and kind of spread those bristles out a little bit. Okay. Again, we're going to do the same thing. Let's do it right here. We'll just tap. Just finding out where your trunk is. And I'm going to tap a little bit. Notice that I'm still using only this corner of the brush. Tap, come out. Look at how nice the branches are with a, with a flat brush. See, it makes these little, almost like little needle things. Make sure you leave some spaces. Let's load again. Isn't that nice? I love the way this turns out. <laughs> Load some more. Get your black, your brown. You want to keep this a dark color. Oh, that's really nice and dark. Oh, yeah. I like it. Just tap. See how I'm doing?
Okay, let's go back in. Some dark. Fill in. Pounce. See those beautiful little needle things? Isn't that great? I just love that. Okay, we'll probably call that good. And again, let's bring out some shadow on this tree. I need some more paint here because I took too much of that tree away. Okay, oh I like that. That's nice. Okay, I want to go into some yellow now. No, I'm sorry, the knife. Uh, where did I put my knife? Here it is. Okay, again, some of this trunk color. Pull, go in and touch, 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 touch. I like to mush that in there sometimes. It just makes a little bit wider trunk, which I think is kind of nice. If it gets too wide, like right there, just scoop it in. There you go. Okay. Now back to this flat brush, and I want to again wipe off the blue or the green. Wipe off the green. Just squeeze from here down, because you don't want you, you don't want to mess up the furrow. So just squeeze from there down. Okay. Now back into a little yellow, a little white. You've got enough green in this brush already. Now again, we're going to go to the top of the tree, touch, touch, and again my sight, my sun is coming in from the left, so it's the left side of the tree that I want to be highlighting, above the branches. Reload. And I do go off a little bit on the right, but I don't get carried away with it. And as you get towards the bottom, it gets a little bit darker. But still going over the main trunk. If you need to touch up a little bit, just go ahead and do that. There. Oh, I think that turned out very nice. <clears throat> okay, wipe that brush off. Grab your knife again and just make that little peak. Nice little point up there. More, clean the brush and grab some yellow and just highlight this left side of the ground. There, I like that, that turned out very nice. Okay, so you know, you know the key is practice, practice, practice. That is the only way to ever get good evergreen trees. When I was in school, oh my God, I had such a hard time with trees. Not only trees, but mountains and also um, flowers. I just could not get them. 
Now I wanted to show you something here. Most of the time what I see is people that go like this. Whoops, a little more paint here. <laughs> see if we can do this right. Okay, what happens is they touch and then they go this way and this way and this way. Have you all seen the Z trees? <laughs> you don't want to do that <laughs> because they don't understand that they're, they're using the flat of the brush for one thing. They're using the whole brush. Another thing I see a lot of is this. just like little half moons. That won't work either. And um, anyway, well you can, you get the idea. So you can try and fix that by, by making your centers and then filling in. But I'll tell you, it just sometimes just does not work. It will look a little better, yes but it just does not work as far as making really nice looking trees. So anyway, try and get away from this kind of thing. Go to this kind of thing. It's not that hard. Well, you know the drill. It's time to take out those brushes and practice. And so I hope you all have just lots of luck with this. And um, you can always send me a photo. <laughs> I'd be glad to see it. And uh, thank you for joining me. If you like this video, I hope you subscribe and um, share the video with your friends. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.